Hello, my name is Marquan. This is my artist presentation on Camila Janan Rashid. Camila Janan Rashid was born in East Palo Alto, California. She works in Brooklyn. She has a couple of different degrees in two different schools. She has a master's in secondary social studies education from Stanford University and a bachelor's in public policy from Panama College. She's an artist that normally likes to use like darker tones of color when it comes to like certain types of art. And she likes to base all of her art that reflects her own life values. And she considers her own work to be the sacred the sacred modes of Black storytelling in relation to surveillance states. This piece right here is actually one of my favorites that I found. The first one that was like really appealing to me is um, one of her recent exhibits called I'm Not Done Yet that she did, I want to say, in the Brooklyn Museum. And it has like a bunch of different rooms in it, but I found room one and room four to be my favorite. She used a couple of different mediums like inkjet prints, Vellum, Xerox paper, Pexi glass, a lot of other things that just make a really cool kind of combination. Here's a close up of like a couple of different other pieces that really caught my eye. The one on the left, I enjoy how she likes to you how she utilizes the words or like certain texts in her pieces that will lead to just having you question like, what is she trying to say? What is she piecing together? It kind of like just forces you to read and then follow along with the line, the line work. As I see that also her piece have some type of weird depiction of line work as well. As you can see on the right, on the right photo, the photo in the middle that she ended up making using ink droplets it just all guides you down. Some lead you to a different piece. Some have different hash marks and a bunch of other different things on them. So I really enjoy those two from room one. But when it comes to room four, this one, it just stuck out the most to me. Just for the way that the words are so separated and makes you in a question, what is it trying to say? Why is she putting this on here? Where is she getting the text from? A lot of different things, like how the lines aren't straight, it's all black and white. There's no color in the pieces that she likes to use in these. The print choice that she just decides to use is really interesting throughout her whole process of this. The second piece that really caught my attention was um, another one of her most recent pro projects that's still ongoing is uh, How to Suffer Politely. She started in 2014 and still going now. Once again, I took a couple of different ones as she has multiple different pieces from this one right here. Some of these use different kinds of things like um, adhesive vinyl, non-adhesive vinyl and digital production, such as these two right here that both that the one on the left use non-adhesive vinyl and the one on the right does use it, does use the adhesive vinyl. And then if you look at the one on the right, right here, which is just a giant sign is the digital production one that she ended up doing. Now it may not seem like it is much, but I wouldn't say it's the matter of what's on the canvas that she's trying to use. I think it is mainly what she's spreading the words she's trying to say, the message she's trying to get out is the strongest thing that is within all of her art. There's always some type of, how I put this? Some type of encouragement with each, each one of her pieces, especially in this one. Finally, you have her, another one of her, recent projects that's actually a signal channel project it's a draft it's not fully out yet it's supposed to be dropped some type of trailer coming out shortly 
but she has a few still images up on her tent up on her um, website where she chose pictures of what she used once again this one immediately caught my attention because it makes you question what am i looking at why does the picture look like this who's the person in the background why are the words so discreet and in the bottom left corner and why you have these two once again now you're trying to actually figure out what's going on is that an ocean is that like some type of landscape on the left you can see tree branches and a bunch of other different colors that just don't match up but always for some reason combines together and makes it look really nice and then the one on the right once again you see a hand but then you just see a bunch of light and spots and just a bunch of other random colors that just blends it all together just makes it look so interesting to me other than that that's my source it's her website camila jenna rashid's website that's it